Hello everyone, thank you for joining me. I'm Kerry. Today I'll be showing you how to crochet a house applique, which was a request. I'll be working one with bricks and one without, but the roof, the windows and the door for both will work the same, so I'll only work one lot of those. When crocheted using 8 ply yarn and a 3mm hook, the large one, the size is 18 centimetres wide by 30 centimetres high or 7 inches wide by 12 inches high. The medium house crocheted using 4 ply crochet cotton and a 1.5mm hook is 13 centimetres wide by 19 centimetres or 5 inches wide by 7.5 inches. The small house crochet using 2 ply crochet cotton and a 1mm hook is 9.5 cm wide by 14 cm or 3 and 3 quarter inches wide by 5.5 inches. I'll be using Katona cotton so the size will be between the medium and large house. For the house with the bricks I'll be using 404 English Tea, 179 Topaz, 115 Hot Red, 162 Black Coffee and 110 Black and for the one without the bricks I'll be using the red, brown and black and I'll also use 074 Mercury and 106 Snow White. I've got sewing thread and a needle to stitch it together. Scissors. I'll be using a 2.5mm crochet hook for the main parts and a 2mm crochet hook for round the edges. And I've got a darning needle to weave in the ends. I'll work the main part of the house with the bricks first. So I'll be using my 179, the topaz, and also the 404, the English T for the brick parts. So I'll start with the topaz and I work 35 chain. Now for row 1 I miss the first two chain and I work one double crochet in each remaining chain. I'll have 33 stitches. A double crochet is a treble using UK terms. For a double crochet we put the yarn around the hook and we put our hook into the third stitch from the hook and bring up a loop. Yarn around the hook and take our hook with the yarn at the end through two loops yarn around the hook, hook with the yarn at the end through two loops. So we work one double crochet in each remaining chain. We'll have 33 stitches.
Now that's the 33 double crochet. I'm going to pull out a loop there and leave that. You could use a stitch marker on there if you'd prefer. And I'm going to join my 404, the English T, to that chain there at the top that was left. And I'll work one chain. I work one slip stitch into each of the next three stitches in the back loop only. So this is the back loop here. There's the front loop and there's the back loop. So one slip stitch, I put my hook into the stitch, bring through a loop and take it straight through the loop on the hook. So I need a slip stitch into each of the next two stitches. I try not to pull too tight. Now I'm going to work one double crochet into the bottom of the next stitch. So I put the yarn around the hook and hook down into the chain at the bottom of the next stitch. So that's stitch there and I bring up a loop through from behind and I pull it up so it's not going to pull tight. Then I put the yarn around the hook and take my hook with the yarn at the end through two loops and yarn around the hook, hook with the yarn at the end through two more loops. Then I work one slip stitch into each of the next four stitches into the back loop only. And then I work a double crochet into the bottom of the chain of the next stitch. And then one slip stitch into the back loop only of each of the next four stitches. And I repeat that across the row. A double crochet into the chain at the bottom of the next stitch. And then a slip stitch into the back loop only of each of the next four stitches. And then a double crochet into the chain at the bottom of the next stitch. And one slip stitch into each of the next four stitches into the back loop only. And just repeat across to the end of the row. When I get to the end of the row, I slip the loop of the topaz on to my hook as well, put the yarn around the hook of the topaz and take it through the two loops and I work two chain. 
and then I'll fasten off the lighter colour. And that's the first two rows done. For row three, I turn my work after my two chain and I'm going to work one double crochet into the front loop only of each stitch. We'll have 33 stitches. So this is the front loop here. So one double crochet into the front loop only. This row was the hardest to do working in the back. Now that's row three done. For row four, we join our four zero four, the English T, just in to the top there. And pull it tight.
we start with one chain and we work one slip stitch in the back loop only of the first stitch. And then we're going to work a double crochet into the next stitch at the bottom, so just under where the lighter colour is. So in there we put our hook and bring through a loop and then work our double crochet. And then we work one slip stitch into the back loop only of each of the next four stitches. And we'll work a double crochet into the bottom of the next stitch. And then one slip stitch into the back loop only of each of the next four stitches. And we just continue like that across the row. And that's row four done. I'll fasten off the English tee and I keep working with the toe pad. So I bring it up to the top, just slip it into the stitch and I start with two chain. And I work one double crochet in the back loop only of each stitch. I'll have 33 stitches. If I wasn't filming, I'd um, crochet over the top of the tails, but at the angle I have to film, it makes it a bit difficult.
Now that's the 33 double crochet worked. So I'll pull that one out and I'll join the English T into the top of the first chain just in there. and work one chain and then I work a slip stitch into the back loop only of each of the first three stitches and then a double crochet into the bottom of the next stitch so just down in there and then a slip stitch into the back loop only of each of the next four stitches. And then a double crochet into the bottom of the next stitch. And just repeat across the main thing is getting, making sure that you have 33 stitches, double crochet in every row of the darker colour and trying to get your bricks fairly even. When I get to the end of the row I just put the loop of the topaz on and bring a loop through. And when I go work backwards I work over the top of the English T to take it back to the beginning of the row for the next row. So that's the first six stitch, first six rows done. So we repeat rows three to six five more times and then row three and four once more. We'll have 28 rows and that will be our house. So I'll do that, I'll work the rest of the 28 rows and I'll be back and we'll work the neatening row. Now that's my 28 rows done. I've got 14 of the topaz and 14 of the English tea and I've finished with an English tea. So I'll fasten that one off. And I'll join in the topaz just down in here
and I'm going to work an evening row. I start with one chain and I'll work one single crochet in each stitch along the sides and one single crochet, one chain and one single crochet in each corner stitch. A single crochet is a double crochet using UK terms. For a single crochet we put the hook into the stitch, bring through a loop, put the yarn around the hook and take our hook with the yarn at the end through both loops. So I'll work the single crochet into this stitch here and then into this corner stitch I'm going to work one single crochet, one chain and one single crochet. And along the top I'll work one single crochet into the back loop of each stitch. Into the corner stitch we work one single crochet, one chain and one single crochet and then work one single crochet in each stitch to the next corner. So I'll continue with my neatening row off camera and I'll be back when I get back to the beginning of the row. When I get back to the beginning of the row I join with a slip stitch in the top of the first stitch and fasten off. And that's the main part of the house with bricks done. Next I'm going to work the main part of the house without bricks. Now I've got my 106, the Snow White, and I'm going to start with 33 chain.
for row one I miss two chain and I work one double crochet in each stitch to the end. I'll have 31 stitches. Now rows 2 to 17 are work the same. We start with 2 chain and turn and work 1 double crochet in each of the 31 stitches. So 1 double crochet in each stitch.
Now that's the first two rows done. I'll work 15 more rows, the same as the second row off camera and then I'll be back. Now that's the 17 rows of the plain house done. The neatening row was worked the same as the neatening row for the brick house. You start with one chain and work one single crochet in each stitch along the sides and one single crochet, one chain and one single crochet in each corner stitch. So I'll work the neatening row off camera and I'll weave in the ends. Now I'm going to start on the roof now. For both the brick and the plain house this part is done in black. So I've got my 110 the black and I start with 22 chain For row 1, we miss 2 chain and work 3 double crochet in the 3rd chain. So work 3 double crochet into the 3rd chain. A double crochet is a treble using UK terms. Then we'll work one double crochet in each stitch to the last stitch. We'll work three double crochet into the last stitch and we'll have 24 stitches. So after our three double crochet work, one double crochet in each stitch to the last stitch. There's one chain left, I work three double crochet into the last chain. For row two, I start with two with three chains. Sorry, 
and turn my work, I'm going to work three treble into the first stitch. A treble is a double treble using UK terms. For a treble we put the yarn around the hook twice, hook into the stitch and bring up a loop, yarn around the hook, take our hook with the yarn at the end through two loops, yarn around the hook, hook with the yarn at the end through two more loops, yarn around the hook and hook with the yarn at the end through the remaining two loops. So we may need two more treble into that first stitch. And then we work one double crochet into each stitch to the last stitch. We'll work three treble into the last stitch and we'll have 28 stitches. So after our three treble we work one double crochet into each stitch until there's one stitch left. and work three treble into the last stitch. And that's the first two rows done. For row three, we start with three chain and turn our work. We work three treble into the first stitch. Then we work one double crochet in each stitch to the last stitch. We'll work three treble into the last stitch and we'll have 32 stitches. So after our three treble in the first stitch, work one double crochet into each stitch to the last stitch.
and work 3 treble into the last stitch. For bow 4 we start with 3 chain and turn, we work 3 treble into the first stitch then one double crochet into each stitch to the last stitch. We'll work three treble into the last stitch and we'll have 36 stitches. So after our three treble in the first work, one double crochet into each stitch to the last stitch. and work 3 treble into the last stitch Now that's the roof done except for the neatening row. For the neatening row we start with one chain and we work one single crochet in each stitch on our straight edges and one single crochet one chain and one single crochet in each of the corner stitches the same as we did for the main part of the house. So I'll work my neatening row off camera 
and I'll weave in the ends and I'll be back and we'll do the chimneys and the eaves. Now I'll be working the roof for the one with the bricks on camera so I've got my 4-0 for the English tea for the eaves and the topaz for the chimneys. For the plain house I'll have the red, hot red for the eaves and white for the chimneys. Now I've got my 4-0 for the English tea and I'm going to join in the first stitch of the longer side just in the back loop we're going to be working just into the back loop only of each stitch and we start with two chain we're going to work a joined half double crochet over the next two stitches so we put the yarn around the hook, hook into the next stitch and bring up a loop, yarn around the hook, hook into the following stitch and bring up a loop. Then we put the yarn around the hook and take our hook with the yarn at the end through all the loops. Now we're going to work one half double crochet into the back loop only of each stitch till we have two left. A half double crochet is a half treble using UK terms for a half double crochet put the yarn around the hook, hook into the next stitch in the back loop only and bring up a loop, yarn around the hook and take our hook with the yarn at the end through all the loops. So then we work one half double crochet into the back loop only of each stitch till we have two left. There are two stitches left. We work a joined half double crochet over the last two stitches, the same as we did at the beginning of the row. For row two, we slip stitch into the second stitch and work one chain 
For this row we'll be working into the front loop only. So we work one single crochet into the front loop only of the same stitch as our chain and then one single crochet into each stitch until we have two left just into the front loop. So that loop there This is just going to give our eaves a little bit of texture. and I've got two stitches left. I leave them. For row three I start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet into the back loop only of each stitch. So that's the back loop only there. So into that loop there.
And once we get to the beginning of the bow, we fasten off. And that's the roof with the eaves done. For the chimney, I'll be using the 179, the topaz, and I join at the point of the roof there for the first chimney. I start with two chain and work one double crochet into the same stitch as the join and then one double crochet into each of the next four stitches For row 2, I start with 2 chain and turn and we work 1 double crochet into each of the 5 stitches. For row 3, we start with 1 chain and turn. We work 2 half double crochet into the first stitch. One half double crochet into each stitch till we have one left. and two half double crochet into the last stitch. And we fasten off. And we will work a neatening row around that. For the second chimney, we join on the fifth last stitch from the corner. So this stitch here and the second chimney is worked the same. We start with two chain. We work one double crochet into the same stitches, the join and one double crochet into each of the next four stitches. For row 2, we start with 2 chain and turn and work 1 double crochet into each of the 5 stitches. And for row three, we start with two, one chain, sorry, and turn and work two half double crochet into the first stitch. One half double crochet into each of the next three stitches.
and two half double crochet into the last stitch. And we fasten off. And that's the roof done, except for the neatening around the chimneys. I'll just weave in the ends and I'll be back and we'll neaten the chimneys. For the neatening row of the chimney, we join our topaz to the first stitch of the chimney and we work one slip stitch in each stitch around. So we just find a suitable place not too far from the edge. then slip stitch into the last stitch and fasten off. And the second chimney is neat and the same as the first chimney. Now for the doors I've got red doors for both but for the brick house I've got black around it and for the plain house I've got grey. I'll work the one with the black around. I've got my 115, the hot red, and I start with 15 chain. For row 1 I miss the first chain and work one single crochet in each remaining chain. We'll have 14 stitches. For row 2 we start with 1 chain and turn and work 1 single crochet in each of the 14 stitches.
For row 3 we start with 1 chain and turn and work 1 single crochet in each stitch. For row 4 we start with 1 chain and turn and work 1 single crochet in each of the 14 stitches. And that's the door worked except for the neatening row. For the neatening row we start with one chain and work one single crochet in each of the stitches along the straight parts and one single crochet, one chain and one single crochet in each corner stitch. So I'm at a corner stitch I'll work one single crochet, one chain and one single crochet. Into the corner stitch I work one single crochet, one chain and one single crochet. And then one single crochet along the top to the next corner. and work one single crochet, one chain and one single crochet in the corner and then a single crochet in each stitch down the side I work a single crochet into the same stitch as my first stitch, work one chain and slip stitch into the first stitch and fasten off.
And that's the first part of the door done. Now for around the door on the book house, I've got my 110, the black, but for the plain house I'd be using 074 Mercury. I join in the corner at the bottom, just in the back loop. and work one chain and I'm going to work one single crochet in the back loop only in each stitch up to the corner stitch Into the corner stitch I'll work one single crochet, one chain and one single crochet. And then I work one single crochet in each stitch across to the next corner. Into the next corner I'll work one single crochet, one chain and one single crochet. And work one single crochet in the back loop only, in each stitch down the side. And then I fasten off. And that's around the door done. Now we'll do the top part. I've still got my black and I join to the first stitch at the top, not the chain, the next stitch. I'll just join in the back loop only. and I work two chain. I work one half double crochet in the same stitch as the chain and then one half double crochet in each stitch across to the stitch before the chain in the other corner. For row 2 we start with one chain and turn and we'll work a slip stitch in the back loop only of each of the stitches of row 1. This is the back loop here. So one slip stitch in each stitch across. Thank you. 
For row 3 we start with 2 chain and turn our work and now we're going to work in the loop left from row, row 1. So this loop here, we work 2 half double crochet into the first loop then one half double crochet into each stitch across to the last stitch and two half double crochet into the last stitch and we fasten off now I'll just weave in those ends and I'll be back and we'll work a neatening row just around the top part there now to neaten the top of the door we join just in this last stitch of the door and we don't work a chain we're going to work one single crochet in each stitch around the straight parts and one single crochet one chain and one single crochet in the corner stitches so work a single crochet in each stitch up to the corner into the corner work one single crochet one chain and one single crochet and then work one single crochet in each stitch along the top to the next corner into the corner work one single crochet one chain and one single crochet and then work one single crochet in each stitch down the side and slip stitch into the first stitch on the side of the door and fasten off and that's the door done you've got a ridge across the middle and the other little ridges across it now for the window We've got five windows on each house and for both the houses I'm using the 162, the black coffee. So I start with four chain For row one we miss the first chain and work one single crochet in each of the three remaining chain For row 2 we start with 1 chain and turn and work 1 single crochet in each stitch
For row 3 we start with 1 chain and turn and work 1 single crochet in each of the 3 stitches. For row 4 we start with 1 chain and turn and work 1 single crochet in each stitch. For row 5 we start with 1 chain and turn and work 1 single crochet in each stitch. And for row 6 we start with 1 chain and turn and work 1 single crochet in each of the 3 stitches. Now that's the window done, we've got to do a neatening row. We start with one chain and work one single crochet into the corner there. Then one single crochet in each stitch down the side to the next corner. Into the corner we work one single crochet, one chain and one single crochet. Then we work a single crochet into the next stitch and into the next corner stitch we'll work one single crochet, one chain and one single crochet. Then work one single crochet in each stitch just up the next side. Work one single crochet, one chain and one single crochet into the corner stitch. One single crochet into the middle stitch at the top, a single crochet into the next stitch, work one chain and slip stitch into the top of the next stitch and fasten off. And that's the middle of the window done. I'll work the rest of the windows off camera and we'll work around the windows next. Now for the house with bricks I'll be using my 404 The English Tea and for the plain house I'll use the Mercury. Now we join the cotton to the back loop only of any stitch. I'm joining in the corner there. And start with one chain and we work a slip stitch into the same stitch and then a slip stitch into the back loop only of each stitch up to the next corner. Into the corner stitch we work one slip stitch, one chain quite tightly and a slip stitch and then work one slip stitch in each stitch across to the next corner and work one slip stitch, a chain quite tightly and then one slip stitch into that corner and then one slip stitch in each stitch down to the next corner.
and then into the corner stitch we work one slip stitch, one chain and one slip stitch and then work a slip stitch into each stitch across to our first corner. Work a slip stitch into the first stitch and then slip stitch into the top there and fasten off. Now we'll work the top of the window now. It's worked similar to the top of the door except working a single crochet instead of a half double crochet. We join just after the chain and work one chain. We work a single crochet into the same stitch as our join and then one single crochet in each stitch across to the stitch before the chain. For row two we start with one chain and turn and work a slip stitch in the back loop only of each stitch. For row three we start with one chain and turn. We work two single crochet in the stitch left from the loop left from row one. So this stitch here, two single crochet into that loop, one single crochet into each of the next three loops left, and two single crochet into the last one. and we fasten off. So I'll weave in these ends and I'll be back and we'll do a neatening row around the top there. For the neatening row we join just at the top of the door in there. and we'll work one slip stitch in each stitch up to the corner. Into the corner we work one slip stitch, one chain and one slip stitch and then a slip stitch in each stitch across the top to the next corner. One slip stitch, one chain and one slip stitch into the corner stitch and then one slip stitch in each stitch back down the side. Then slip stitch in the side of the window and fasten off. And that's the window done. I'll make another four windows and the other parts for the plain house. I'll weave in the ends and I'll be back and we'll put it together. Now there's the pieces. I've got the brick house, the plain house, 
with a roof each, a door each and five windows each. The first things I'll do is embroider a doorknob just on the side middle of the door, about there. I'll add the panes to the windows. I'll do it in the same colour as around the edge. I use chain. I work chain for the length and width of the windows and just stitch it down and then I'll stitch the roof to the top of the house. It just overlaps just by about the two rows of the single crochet so it stitches down about there. The next thing we do is add the doors to the bottom middle of the house and then we add the windows, one each side of the door and then the other three evenly along the top story. Like that. So I'll do that and I'll be back to show you the finished houses. And there's the finished houses. The size is 14 and a half centimetres wide by 24 centimetres or five and a half inches wide by nine and a half inches. If you've liked my video, please like, subscribe and share. I'm also on Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest and Twitter. The details are in the description below along with the details of my website where I have my patterns, the details of my Facebook group and the details of my Patreon. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye.